the first thing we need to build an Android app is Android Studio. Uh, it can be downloaded for free from uh, developer.android.com. Just Google Android Studio and you can get to it. Um, again, free Windows, Mac, Linux. Uh, I already have it installed, so just go through the installer. It should be pretty quick, take a second. And we're going to create a new project. Um, and a couple of things uh, we can select from there, but we have no new projects, so we're just gonna select. A uh, new project. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to select, we could select a basic activity, but for this, we're going to just go ahead and select an empty activity. Let's go ahead and hit next, and we can call this whatever we want. This will be like the kind of the name of our application. We'll call it nay. Uh, call it neighborhood talk, an app where you can communicate with your neighbors. Uh, for package name, it should put the default in of com.example.neighborhoodtalk. If uh, it's not there, you can type that in or anything else. Both those can be modified. Uh, make sure language is Kotlin. Um, it can be saved to whatever file location on your computer or hard drive you would like. Uh, the default is fine. Uh, for our min SDK, we're gonna select 24. And without explaining too much about what all of this does, uh, just know for now that it all works. And we're gonna go ahead and hit finish. And this will open up Android Studio. And we should see uh, our code pull up. And if you notice at the bottom, it says Gradle is doing a whole lot. Um, and here we are, it looks like it's all loaded. So if you've never looked at code before much, this is what code looks like um, uh, on Android Studio, kind of like all of uh, the JetBrains software. You have different files over here. Uh, most importantly, what we're going to do is actually not open those up. Um, uh, on our project pane on the left, kind of like uh, Finder, or Windows Explorer, or whatever, on the Windows side. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, save this, uh, Command S or whatever. What we're gonna do is let's go ahead and run this. Um, this will give us just the basic default app and we'll modify it throughout these series, hopefully dozens of videos every week. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and run it. So if you have a Android device and you want to see what this app looks like, should look something kind of like, um, Activity main, we can pull up a kind of a preview here. I should say hello world. You can plug in your uh, Android device with USB to your computer. You're gonna need to enable developer mode on the device. Uh, to do that, hit open up the phone settings and hit the build number seven times. Should be somewhere near the bottom under systems or about phone or something like that. Uh, if you don't have a physical device with you or you would like to use a virtual device, follow along. Um, I just created a virtual device, but we'll create a new one. There's a button here where we can create a virtual device. Uh, I already have one there, but pretend not that doesn't exist. Let's go ahead and create a new one. Uh, and we can select whatever we want. In this case, we want a phone. We'll just pick a, pick a Pixel 4 XL next. Uh, we generally want the latest uh, Android version on this phone, uh, January 2021. Uh, weird year to say. <laughs> we just uh, came forward. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select R. Go ahead and hit next. And we can name it whatever we'd like. We'll do um, virtual device. 2021, uh, go ahead and hit finish. And this will build the virtual device for us. And if we are to close out of that, we can actually select it from this list here. And again, if you have your uh, physical device plugged in with USB to your computer um, and you get a prompt to uh, enable permissions maybe on your phone when you unplug it and plug it back in, it should show up here. In this case, I'm going to select the virtual device if you want, the one I just created there. Um, but I actually have one I just created a few moments ago, just before the recording of this video. I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna hit the play icon, and this should run the app for us. And uh, this may take a few minutes, especially if you just built your own new emulator. And if you'll notice, you'll see this phone pop up here. Now, if uh, it pops up in a new window, but it still looks just like this, just in a new floating window. That's fine, we can uh, actually do that in just a second. I'll show you how to put it inside of here. But for now, know, know that this is basically our app 
and it's just a regular phone, um, has the buttons on here, you just use your mouse. It's all virtual, so you don't actually have to go out and buy a phone or ha even have an Android phone. You have the entire OS on the system right here. We can actually open up Chrome and Gmail and internet should work and stuff. And you'll notice we have our apps, uh, our neighborhood, uh, neighborhood, whatever we called it, neighborhood talk. So that is our app here. Uh, we ran it on a virtual device. We didn't modify any code at all whatsoever. In the next video, we'll actually modify some code so that when we go to open it up, I think it's that one. Uh, yeah, when you go to, uh, we can modify the text and just to show you how to do that really quickly. And we'll do it all in the next video. We can open up main activity on the left, kind of just open up the there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little bit smaller. Uh, we're gonna hit the text there and um, there are all kinds of information you can actually modify about it. On the left, we have, um, gonna go ahead and just uh, make that a whole lot smaller. But to give you a quick preview, we've got a code mode for this activity main file.xml, a split mode and a design mode. In the design mode, we can actually select text, so hello world. And so if you want that to be something else, um, you know, without modifying the text size or anything, we can just go to the text there. If you want the text to say, hi, Daniel, or your name there. Um, and if we uh, actually do that work, yeah, good. yeah, so that should be good. Or we can always search for text there. And I'm not sure oh, the text might have gone. Anyways, so the text should be there. It should say, hi, Daniel. So if I save that, if I go ahead and run it again, it should display on the phone. Uh, it doesn't, uh, it does. There you go. So it says, hi, Daniel. We'll pick this up in the next, in the next video next week. Uh, for now, we learned how to open, install Android Studio uh, and then create a virtual device. We'll use this virtual device for all of our future testing. We'll begin in the next video.